From the basketball court to the ice rink, from the ski slopes to the gridirons, all of your favorite athletes are walking the red carpet with us tonight. And here we have champion downhill skier Justin O'Neill, fresh off his second place showing on the hit show Celebrity Fox Trot. Justin. Hi, Meg. How you doing? Great. Justin. Your first nomination for favorite male athlete since your big win in Japan. Yeah, well, I know it's a bit of a cliche, Maggie, but it really is an honor just to be nominated. Be honest. You wouldn't mind having that award on your bookshelf with all the other medals and trophies. Winning isn't everything, Maggie. Except for the mountains. Good luck tonight, Justin. Thanks, Maggie. <sighs> Hannah, give me some good news. I wish I could, Justin. Niels is out. I can't believe Niels quit. We'll find you a new coach. I don't want a new coach. I want my old coach. Did you tell him I'm done with physical therapy? I'm clear to start training again. He doesn't think that he can get you back into shape in time for the Winter Classic, but do not be discouraged. I can't start racing without a coach. I've been out a year. I have irons in the fire. Irons in the fire. But why aren't you packed? We're leaving in the morning. You know, maybe we should wait. Find a new coach, train for a few months, and then I'll be ready. You grew up on Winter Mountain, Justin. It is the perfect place for your comeback. People back home, they expect a lot from me. And you will deliver when you take first in the classic. Plus, all of those endorsement deals are going to come rushing back. Trust me, this is not my first rodeo. Now eat, finish packing, while I go work the phones, create some buzz. And it's gonna be great. The hometown hero has arrived. I can see the headline already. You ready to take your first run? Yeah, yeah. I need to go say out of my parents first. See you in a bit. How's the knee? Fully recovered. Range of motion? 100%. You're on a black diamond yet? Today. You look good. We haven't seen you since Austria. We don't talk about Austria, Mom. In my mind, Austria doesn't even exist anymore. I completely blocked it out. Okay. Everyone takes a scale. You should have seen your father after the Swiss downhill in 84. I know, I know. And I still took first in the championship. See, just get back up on the horse like I did, all will be well. That's my plan. Good. How about some cocoa? Your dad bought this fancy new machine for the lobby's happy hour. Absolutely. <laughs> Extra marshmallows. Flying me with my favorite things? Oh, I'll bake you a key lime pie, too, if it'll get you home more often. <laughs> it could work. There you are. I got you a 2 p.m. radio interview. Great. Uh, do you remember Anna, oh, the manager? Of course. <laughs> Sit down. I'm, I'm, I'll get you some cocoa. Oh, well, thanks, but I'm off sugar. So what's the status on the new coach? That's the important thing here, huh? Coach before interviews. I can make a few calls. Uh, we have a few irons in the fire, right? That's right. Lots of irons. So who are you thinking? How's the auction coming along, Mom? She runs a fundraiser during the carnival. I'm looking forward to it. In fact, Kayla's has helped us get some great auction items. Have you seen her yet? Uh, no. Not yet. Well, you should drop by the ski school and say hi. I will. At some point. An old family friend. Oh, Kayla Green, best ski instructor we've got. If you're interested in some lessons while you're here. Oh, Martin Green's daughter. Yeah, yeah. He was my coach. Just to mention that, you've got quite the legacy here. <laughs> Skiing's in our blood. Speaking of, I am going to go get that run in before the interview.
just seen a ghost. Well, I wasn't expecting to see you yet. The Winter Classic isn't for another week. Are you a ghost? Not that I know of. Why do you ask? Well, you kind of just disappeared, like, poof, you know? Oh. Nope. All me. Flesh and blood. So where's, where's Niels? Oh, I, I'm not on the train with Niels right now. So how you been, Kay? I mean, evidently not as good as you. You know, magazine covers, profiles, the Arctic Skin Thermal commercial last year. That was really something. But can you tell me the, um, uh, yeah, the arm flex? Mm -hmm. Was that your idea, or? That wasn't mine. Completely. Lots of comments on social media about it. Are you cyber stalking me? Huh. I'm flattered. I just hope it's still about skiing for you and not the notoriety. It's always about the skiing, Kay. Well, you better get back to skiing because you just got smoked by a bunch of 12-year-olds. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Huh. That went well. Thursday, we're going to hit the intermediate, so I want to get lots of sleep, okay? Okay, good job today. What took you so long? You didn't fall again, did you? No, I just uh, ran into an old friend. So that's the infamous Kayla Green. I, mean, I don't know if I'm infamous. I mean, legendary maybe, but I don't want to overshoot it. Kayla, this is my manager, Anna. Hey, nice oh, to meet you. Oh, you've done such a good job with him. Thank I, you. I mean, not many skiers become household names. It's true. I'm sure they do. And now you're on track to be the youngest winner ever. <laughs> not ever. Uh, because of that guy. Yeah, he still holds the record. Winning the classic at only 19 years old. I'm already 20. Here, one sec, eh? Justin O'Neill! Dude, I'm not worthy. I'm, I'm sorry. Hunter Davies. Big fan. I've uh, seen you ski. Looks like you're going to give us all a run for our money up there. I just can't believe I'm going to be racing against you. I used to have this guy's poster on my wall as a kid. You were the best there is. Uh, I remember when I first saw you on TV years and years and <laughs> years ago. And my dad let me stay up until 2 a.m. just to watch you ski live in Japan. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a great race. Good meeting you, and I uh, guess I'll see you up on the hill. Yeah? Cool. Hey, and I buy you a beer, but I'm not old enough. So, anyways, catch you later, man. Catch you later. I'll get to you this week, too, Justin. Big comeback? We're all really excited to see how it goes. Absolutely. Anytime. Got Nana's number. You know that's just noise, right? Remember what my dad used to say about the press. Let them say what they're going to say and keep, keep on skiing. <laughs> Forgot about that. Here's your schedule for tomorrow. You've got the Ainsley Clinics again. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm going to buy you lunch. Ooh, you are a slippery one. I'm slippery. When were you going to tell me about your little run-in with Justin O'Neill? How do you know about that? I can see it all over your face. Gossip travels at the speed of light around here. And it wasn't a run-in. It was an encounter. And it was fine. Okay, hold on. Why are you not furious with him? I'm still mad at Jason Gregory for ditching me at the fifth grade dance, and what Justin did was way worse. He didn't do anything, except for maybe radio silence for the past few years. Oh, come on. You were going out on the circuit together like Dad and Tom. He had the chance to be coached by Niels Redditor. I was about to hold him back from that, and I what? I, I didn't have a professional track record. <sighs> Dad taught us everything we know. That's your track record? And he loved watching you coach Justin, seeing you follow in his footsteps. Yeah, and if he were here with me right now, he would love watching me run the school with you and carrying on his and mom's legacy in that way. I'm happy. Justin's happy. We're, we're just happy people. Ah, <laughs> oh, four years since I had Nora's pot roast, and it is exactly the same. That's why you get it. <laughs> you know, I do follow a strict training diet most of the time. Uh -huh. I didn't say a word. <laughs> Justin O'Neill, can I get a selfie? <laughs> yeah, it'll cost you. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Uh, you too. Not on my TV. <sighs> we miss you out here, Jay. Well, you got me for the next week. Hey, how's your knee doing? Did they give you the deep tissue regeneration? Ultrasound? Yeah, all of the above, Dr. Murphy. Uh, not Dr. Murphy just yet. Not for another five months. Not a moment too soon. Working for these two by day and studying hard at night. Hey, 
got time for a drink. Uh, Go ahead. I'll we'll see you later. Not too late. Okay, I'm going to close off the back run until 7 a.m. so you can have it for yourself. I'll be there at 6. Okay. Good. All right, guys. Good night. About that beer? I'm in training. Can I get a coffee? Yeah. As long as Mike can be Irish. Come on, big guy. Yeah. So what's going on, man? You've been home in like five years. Four. It's a busy life traveling around all the time from race to race. Come on, Jay. It's me, man. You haven't raced in a year. Uh, Why didn't you come home to the PT Institute for rehab? Best sports medicine clinic in the world is on the Upper East Side. My surgeon was right around the corner. You don't pass that kind of thing up. I was back in a racing shape in record time. I'm going to be way better than those guys. Oh. Okay, I'm going to give you a stack of business cards for your racing buddies for when they wipe out. <laughs> Green ambulance chaser, winter run to the rescue. <laughs> Don't shape a man like that. Come on. Who oh, knows what he said? Two or three. Are you still carrying a torch for Kayla's sister? You ever going to do anything about it? When the time is oh, right. Oh, when the time is right. Yeah. Are you still carrying a torch for her? Come on, what are you talking about? We were best friends. It was never like that between Kay and I. Uh-huh. Sure, bud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. He's favoring the left. He's still having pain on the right. Not for a few months. He's playing it safe. His knee is healed. It's time to use it. <sighs> that knee is healed. It's time to use it. You're not finishing your turns. Your weight is too far back. This is so not my place. I cannot turn this off. I'm going to leave you to it. No! Don't turn it off. Because I think we just found Justin's new coach. Excuse hey, me? For the week. No, I'm like so swamped this week. I've got like this ski school. Coach, um, coach. Please, we, I did actually coach you to your first winter classic victory. FYI. Yes. Think of the optics, Justin. Plus, her father, like your father, took victory after victory, and history has a tendency to repeat itself. Is that always such a good thing, Anna? I mean, the eyes the fire. The fire's out, squelched. Justin needs someone who tells it like it is. No sugarcoating, no playing to his ego. All of that can be a big distraction for him. Justin can hear you. Let me finish. Who better than his best friend from childhood? Someone who knew him when? Who isn't going to be distracted by all the glitz and glamour that comes into Justin? I've been hearing everything. It all comes from a place of love. You know, I I just think that there has to be another option. Like, what about his dad? (laughs) No, 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 no. Not an option. Or my sister Jenny. She works at the ski school with me and she's amazing. Has Jenny ever coached downhill? I think... That you're making my case for me. He needs this. He needs you. Do it for old time's sake. Is he gonna listen to me? Are you gonna listen to her? I don't know. I, I don't even know her coaching technique anymore. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Come on. Fine. Do whatever you say. Within reason. Oh, I don't teach anything that's without reason. It's settled then. We start tomorrow. Yay. You guys are amazing. Okay, good job. But remember, you feel the slightest little skin. I want you to keep your hips up. But whatever you do, you don't get stuck in the zombie position, okay? Got my eyes on you. All right, get back up. Good morning. I thought we were training at night. We are. So you're going to have someone take over your class for you? No. So what are we doing here? You're going to go up that magic carpet with my kids. The bunny hill. Mm-hmm. you got to learn to crawl before you can walk. Is this within reason? Because I, I don't see how skiing with a bunch of kids on a bunny hill is going to help me win the classic. Well, maybe you can give me the benefit of the doubt. It's just a thought. <laughs> on fresh fallen powder. There's no feeling quite like it. You remember that, Justin? The 
This is hardly powder. Work with me. Dude, so cool. Just a little lesson. Got to get back to the kids, you know? <laughs> stay humble. Now I'm going to stay. All right. Nobody tells the truth. There's ice cream here for you. Yay! All right, all right. I want you to show me those pizza slices and snow plow. Three, two, one. questions is a standard deflection technique. Yeah, it certainly can't be. I want to know the plan. We are partners here. The plan is we need to come back down to Earth and get centered again. Ah, you are very cryptic. I don't like that. Oh, I just know this. There is a method to my madness. <laughs> Still, no idea what your plan is. I understand that none of this it is really hot in here. It's Bikram and Sada Yoga. Yeah, it seems pretty unsanitary. That's great. You got a deeper strategy to improve your circulation as your skin cools. And that helps me how? You switch legs, put all your weight on the bad knee. Can we just ask her to open a window? Just, just, tiny just, 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 I did not conquer that. I don't think my body bends that way. Sweaty yoga is unnecessary torture. Well, you get used to it after a while. I even need to? See? Oh, look at that. Still got all my favorite midway games. Yeah, you know, that was the last time I was here. Classic four years ago. Yep. Still couldn't win at that ring toss. You know, I think this thing is fixed. It's not fixed. No, please. I speak from experience, and maybe I'll win you something nice this week. No, but this time around, I will succeed at the ring toss. It's my time. I am due. If only the classic was every year, you'd have more of a chance. But, I mean, if this is what it takes to get you home... I can't change the racing schedule. The season's five months out of the year. No, but appearances and endorsements during the other seven months pay for those five, plus the training, you know? I gotta follow the snow. Your parents missed you. It's not like I haven't seen them. They were at every race. Yeah, I know. Jenny and I were in the lodge when they're gone. My mom said that the ski school is thriving. You've developed quite a reputation. I'm just doing everything my dad would have done. Not everything. When I left, I never thought you would have quit coaching. Uh, oh, because uh, I didn't. I, I coached the ski team. Yeah, but you wanted to be a racing coach. It's a racing team. Twelve-year-olds. That's where champions are born. No one knows that more than you. You could have been so great. <sighs> uh, that did not come out right. No, I would imagine not. You loved coaching. I'm actually still coaching. I'm coaching you right now. Would you like me to wear a name tag so you don't forget? That's not what I meant. Okay. 
You know, I feel like I can never say anything right with you, okay? Justin, we had a plan. It didn't work out. It happens. You still seem pretty angry. I'm not upset about it. I was the one who told you to go train with Niels. Did you want me to not go? Justin, it's not that you left. You left and you, you barely looked back. You went away and you took our friendship with you. And the fact that you don't even realize that is...
least seems fair. I mean, I am a professional. Because I was 
definitely not the Justin O'Neill who took first place in Zerma. Tough love angle, huh? Oh. All right, so maybe I'm, I'm a little rusty. And those pillows at the lodge, I really got to talk to my dad about that. Those things are so lumpy. Pillows? They are awful. Okay, excuses and 30 bucks is going to get you a ticket to the race that you are not in. I know. I know. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm all over the place. Okay. All right. Let's just take a break. Do you remember when we were on the junior team? Some of the best times of my life. Mm -hmm. The whole world ahead of us. Well, I mean, the whole world is still ahead of you. You just have to get back in that headspace when... Nothing mattered but the wind in your face. The sound of snow under my skis. The rush of it all. <sighs> you know, my knee healed. What if I never get back to what I used to be? My dad used to say, never let success get to your head and failure get to your heart. So once your head is back in the game, that knee is going to follow. Thanks, Coach. It's cool again. All right. He's not favoring his good knee anymore, and his turns are solid. That's time. It's improved since this morning, but it's still not close to course record. What else does he need? He needs positive reinforcement. Not criticism, because I think his confidence is a little low. Confidence has never been his problem. I you know, that's how you know it's serious. Looking good out there, Justin. Thanks. So your mom's auction is this evening. I think she was hoping that you would drop by. Let's <sighs> plan on it. Okay, okay then. So you're looking good. Can I show you something? Secure 
some of the items that we will be auctioning off this evening, which benefits skiing for scholarships in its 20th year, sending underprivileged kids to college, courtesy of that beautiful angel over there, Gretchen O'Neill. Who wants to know about this exciting new item up for bed, huh? One of you lucky folks is going to get to spend the entire day with World Cup champion, multiple medalist, hawker of everyone's favorite hiking boots, Justin O'Neill!
just a busy comeback story, and everybody loves a great comeback. He knows the drill, but are you doing okay? Kayla? Yes, I left my body for a minute. You can do this. Forget about the cameras. You're just having a conversation with your very good friend and this nice lady. Right. Uh, Justin, let's get you here on the right. Okay. And Kayla here on the left. Right. All right. Ooh, come on. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yep. Great. Oh. Hi. How are you? Get nervous. Just look at my eyes. Connect with me, okay? I got you. Okay. In fact, the Winter Classic was the first race you ever won. And then you went on to win it again two other years. So, what's different about this year? Well, I wasn't really recovering from a knee injury, so there's that. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm, I'm coming along. I'm healing. In every sense of the word. And I owe a lot of that to this exceptional woman right here. She's uh, not only my coach, but a really good friend. I'm looking at this winter classic as a way to get back so many things that I've lost. But like that medal he should have won in Austria, he was on track for it, like he is for this race. So Kayla, after Justin joined the professional circuit, you didn't coach again? Not a professional racer, Maggie, no. I mean, how do you top working with this guy? Even if it was a long time ago. But I'm happy to say that our winter mountain lodge junior racers have taken the state alpine championship. Three years running. Wonderful. Well, I think I speak for everyone when I say we're four days away, and we can't wait to see how you two do. Together. On that mountain again. <laughs> Take a look at me. Uh, I, no, I need to watch from down here. Come on, one. exacerbate any inflammation. I'm fine. What did I tell you about fighting with me? I don't really remember anything in particular about fighting, but there was listening, obeying, tree pose. The correct answer is, Kayla, I will do whatever you say, and I will not argue with you, and you're perfect. That is a mouthful. Just try it. I will do whatever you say, Kayla. I will not argue with you. You're perfect. Justin, where is this all coming from? <laughs> Skull ice your knee. <laughs> what are you waiting for? You need me to carry you? No, I'm good. Just tighten my boot buckles. You're right down. graduating class. You should come. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'd love to. Just, you know, send me the details. 
talking about like breast on me because like I can handle it. I'm like, like pretty strong. What? What'd you do to yourself? <sighs> it's it's nothing. I'm just a little sore. I mean, that's not uncommon for that type of injury, but what are you doing to maintain your physical therapy while you're training? Not much. I don't really need it. Well, today is your lucky day, Jay. We're going to start you on a full PT regimen. So the DP will help the circulation of the ligament and help with the pain and inflammation. We're going to have to do this at least once a day before the race, and uh, ice it at least twice. It's very impressive, Wyatt. Thanks. You should uh, probably call it a day on the training for now. Start fresh tomorrow? Night off. Well, I guess I can get a little rest. Uh, not so fast, mister. There are some not fixed carnival games with our names written all over them. Mm -hmm. Nah, and you may be questionable, but my ring toss arm is pretty sharp. Plus, there is line dancing in the square. Normally on Tuesdays, we go do that at the saloon, but... I love line dancing. <laughs> you hate line dancing. Okay, you haven't been here in a long time. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 he's really good at it. You're going to love it. Trust me. Everyone goes. We wear cute boots. Great. It's a date. I mean, not a date. Date. Unless, unless you want it to be a date. Is it a date? Should it be a It's a date. Just... It's a date. I called. Hey, son. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little sore. It's totally normal for an injury like mine. Justin, sit down for a minute. Sound treatment today, and I'll have another one tomorrow. What did Kayla say about your turns? She mentioned they were inconsistent. Dad, you don't need to macromanage me. I know what I'm doing. I never said you didn't. Well, then why don't we talk about something else, like fantasy football or the weather? Oh. Yeah, you, you know, this is what my father did to me. Uh, he wrote me so hard, and I hated it. And I was a winner. Mm -hmm. You were the best. Justin, you're better than I ever was. It's not even close. Really? I knew you were a champion from the get-go. Because you were true natural. Uh, you know, I don't know if I can get back there. I'm healed, but it just doesn't feel the same. So you have to work ten times harder. And I'm saying this not out of judgment, just it's from experience. What if I don't win a classic? What if I'm, what if I'm done? I just, I just want to make you proud. I'm proud of you. Jenny, 
15 years, so I guess good things come to those who wait, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. So, how about you and Kayla? You guys seemed a bit, uh, friendly last night. You know me and Kay, we've always been close. Uh-huh. Any pain? Mm, a little, but, uh, we've got three days. We'll keep working on it. Yeah, maybe I should quit while I'm ahead, join you on the road. I could be your team doctor, I could be your, your entourage, your personal umbrella carrier. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if everything goes well, I should be back out on the circuit in a few weeks. Yeah. 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 Just me on the road, huh? Yeah. Okay. No. Dude, me and Jenny are finally dating. I can't leave home now. You're on your own, buddy. You are on your own. <laughs> you seem to be getting over that. I am. He's sweet. It's about time you came around, too. It's been what? Two years since Vince? Why date? It's just hard meeting people in a town when everyone's always coming and going once the snow melts. I mean, I can think of one person who might interest you. Really good-looking ski champ who just happened to be in town for the Winter Classic this Sunday. Hunter Davies? Oh, God, no. He's too young for me. <laughs> Kay, you've been in love with Justin O'Neill since we were kids. Don't try to deny it. You guys always hype. I am his coach, Jenny. There has to be, you know... The boundaries. But you like coaching at this level again. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so then go on the road with him. Like the two of you planned to before. This is your chance at giving your dream a real shot, Kay. Do not let it slip away again. Thank you. 
All right, let's get back to it. Relaxed. Focus. Like when you ski the Cortina. Let's go. All right. All right. Relax. There he 
is. You ready for Sunday? I will be. One more day of training. Good. I'm not nervous. Is that weird? Oh, the absence of nerves. It was always welcome for me. But, I mean, you're going to come back when you hit the starting gate. When did you know it was time for you to hang up your hat? I guess I felt like I had done everything that I wanted to do and it was time to set down some roots. Hmm. And yeah, I miss being on the circuit, but nah, I never regretted it. You know what? I have something for you. Hang on. after I won my first medal. Except one. I forgot it at home. The Swiss down in 84? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This brought me a lot of luck. I put it in a drawer the day we bought this place. But now it's yours. I should have given it to you years ago. I guess, uh, I was trying to hold on. Thanks, Dad. I will say this, though, Justin. When the time does come for you to call it a day, it'll be very clear. Kayla, hi. Oh, hey. We sort of met the other day. No, I'm I remember. I'm actually glad I ran into you. Can we go somewhere and talk? Sure. I I know a place. Oh, amazing. What are you doing? Hi. And you've got some great training courses here, so I'm doing a bit of a trial with Al Fielding. He trains Hunter Davies, and we wanted to see if he'd be a good fit. He's one of the very best. He is, yes. And I'm just not feeling him at all. Well, he, well Hunter requires a lot of attention. He's a star. Yeah, but so are you. Maybe so, but that's not what it's about for me. Oh, yeah, it's a delicate balance, but I feel like it'd be very hard. It's even harder. It's just trying to find the right coach. It's like a marriage. You know? If only there was an app to help you find your mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad said he do a good pairing is just when you each bring something to the table that the other can benefit from. And what do you bring to the table? Sorry? <laughs> I've been doing some poking around. Asked a few questions about you, and I like what I'm hearing from who? Well, Tom O'Neill, for starters. He thinks the world of you, and I've always thought the world of him. I used to watch him when he trained with your father. Yeah, they were quite a team. Yes, oh, they were. <laughs> you also mentioned that you're something of a temporary coach for Justin O'Neill. This is true. I've, I've, we've known each other forever, and I used to coach him back in the day. What about after the classic? Are you going to continue with him? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I run the ski school and I coach the junior racers. I've been watching you this week. I think you're a real talent. Thank you. Look, I leave early Sunday morning for the Eric Invitationals next week. Then on to the Col Cheval to train. I've got a place out there and I would love for you to come on board as my coach. Oh, Nancy, I, I'm so flattered. I, 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 can't, I can't leave Justin right before the race. I know. It's a lot to ask. But you did your job, and you did it well. I watched him out there today. He's ready. So, the thing to consider is, what's the next step for you? Why don't you think about it, and we can talk later?
14. Little Elysi up there. <sighs> Not my best time. I'm gonna take one more run. No, don't overdo it. You wanna be fresh for tomorrow. Dad, I gotta shave some time off. What you gotta do is you gotta trust yourself. Huh? You're a champion. I'm gonna shave off more time when it counts. You got this. Son. You do. You got this. Man, win. 
It's been an exciting classic with only six tenths of a second separating fourth place from first, with only two racers to go. Hunter Davies, determined to make a good showing in his first classic, is favored to win today's race based on his current rankings. racer of the day, three-time Winter Classic champion Justin O'Neill, who just today announced his retirement from the circuit. Can he bring home win number four? Be 
Channel.